this is going to be the cell where we're doing the finishing. And then we are going to have our raw pieces right here. And we want to have our finished pieces right here. In the future, we're going to make a pick and place system to actually move all these parts around. But all this will be manual for now. We need to line up all three of our inserts. That way on our future pick and place, it'll all be in line. What I want to do is I want to remove the outer piece. Sure. And then we're going to remove the inner piece. We don't want to touch this because this one right here is where we want it. And these are also, we need to square them up. And take your time when you're doing this because look here, even though we thought we kind of eyeballed these correctly, you see how far off we were. And so we designed ours exactly 80 millimeters from this piece of den rail. We'll mark our holes. And don't try to just drill through these because inevitably you drill one of them and they will move. Now we put my frame back in place and put my outer support frame on and mark it. I know I've said it several times during this video, but I am amazed at just how smooth this went together using framing tech services. If I had done my part, I think we would have built this in a day, but I did drop the ball on my part of the hardware. And I do believe if we didn't have Framing Tech do it, you and I probably wouldn't be together. If you're wondering what we're talking about, we did the in-houses versus farming out video. And yes, we voiced a lot of our frustrations on it. Now, I said we were done with the assembly of the mechanical portion of this, but there's a big part that we need to do still. And that's right here on our slide out of the panel. Right now, all we have is an empty box. So we're going to talk you through how to build your control panel next. And click here to follow us over there.